Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to be looking at the new features in Dynamo. Dynamo has been updated 3.0 and the cool thing is now when you open up Dynamo in Civil 3D 2025, the cool thing is you're going to see is Dynamo is now version 3. And remember when we move from version 1.0 to 2.0, remember how we had the difference between libraries, for example, strings and data, uh, there was a huge change. And also when these huge changes happen, I would want to make sure you stay updated. So make sure you stay tuned to the channel, explaining the different changes that happened as we've transitioned from Dynamo 2.0, 3.0. That's a further detailed video, but in this case, we're going to just focus on the new features. So you can see we've updated version 3.0. And the beauty with this is that they've introduced a new package manager. Now, before we had a way to manage the packages, but now they've really improved it and streamlined it. And they made it much, much neater. So you can publish your own package. This, these were all there. You can see the installed packages. You can look at my package and you can look at the package settings. Now, what I like about this is you can see the download path for the new packages where they are. And you can always do that. And Dynamo's in built in packages where they are. So the most popular one, I think everyone knows this, is the Civil 3D Toolkit, which I love this. It's like my favorite toolkit from, from pa Pablo, Paolo, Sarah. And you can see they show you the latest time, the last time it was updated. And you can view details according to this package. You can see the versions that are there, one point. 1.1.32 and what this does is that you can even install any old versions in case um, you fail you want to install old versions but what I like about this is that made it neater and better I feel this is more of a cosmetic but it adds that nice mm, nice detail and organization especially when you're working with multiple packages now the other thing that I really like about this is the search feature this has been improved and I think this is really good in terms of, for example, if you type in a list, normally what comes up is what's under list, everything comes up. So for example, I want to understand what's under list, but then I want to do a filter. Okay. So you can see now I, everything that has filter or FI is coming up under list, which I think is a time saver. If if you've really hustled with this, it has been a bit of hit and miss in the previous versions, but they've now improved it. Now, if we go back, there's a new feature they've... Binding has changed a bit. So I want you to understand this and I'm going to make a more detailed video explaining what um, Civil 3D have said. So in Dynamo 3.0, what has happened is And you're going to look at this. So what you notice is object binding has dropped support for deserialization technique in previous versions of Dynamo. And what they're saying is Dynamo 3.1 and beyond will use as strings. So this is the most important part. They're saying is if your object binding settings are stored in the graph. Now, if you don't understand this, watch the video that I'm creating uh, regarding different types of binding. Um, whether you store information in the graph, in the player, or in the drawing. What they're saying is, if your object bindings are stored in the graph, you will need to resave the graph to migrate it. Okay? So this is again an improvement because they've changed the way Dynamo works. You will have to resave the string um, for that to be updated. And they've said, if your, settings, if your settings are stored in the DWG, you need to resave the drawing. So again, it's the same issue is you are going to have to save the drawing so that the settings are migrated to the latest. Now, again, when running, when rerunning a graph from a previous version, any objects it has created in the previous Civil 3D will be duplicated. It's very important because some people are going to get some of the scripts you created and they're going to wonder what's happening. Uh, why are the objects being recreated? So. What's going to happen and what they're advising is make sure you delete the old objects, save the graph, and the objects will no longer be duplicated. So with this, 
The other minor improvements in Dynamo are mainly to do with, as I've mentioned, the workspace. And these are things you just noticed, but I don't think the things I, I want to bring to your attention so much. The thing that I wanted to bring to your attention was how they've improved the search filter. And again, this is what we talked about earlier. So this is what we talked about. What you happen is when you open up a script, this is going to come up. This workspace contains element binding in legacy format that's no longer supported in Dynamo 3.0 and higher versions. Element binding will be saved in the new format and the next time you run and save this workspace. So this is what we've talked about. The other thing I've liked about they've changed is, and this has Civil 3D Toolkit 1.1.30, so it's going to tell me what is missing and I have to install that. And the other thing is, normally when you create elements that are, elements that are further away from the 0, 0.0, what you're going to find those days to use to give you a warning, but now it just gives it to you as information, which I think is really neat and good. 